Hey everyone, welcome to the Movie Throne. I'm your host, the one and only King Freaking Kansas, here to bring you another movie review your way, an official movie review. Yes, I'm back doing to uh, doing my movie reviews, guys, because you know what? You guys have demanded, King, we want reviews. Even if they're fucking spoiler-filled, we want your reviews. So I kind of do my best to do and not spoil everything. And to, you know, I guess attend to your requests. That, you know what, King, we want you to do this, so please do it. So I'm back doing it. So officially, I'm back. There you go. Deal with it. Okay, in this particular video, you guys saw, saw the thumbnail already. I'm doing Furiosa and Mad Max Saga. came out in 2024. It stars... Anna Taylor Joy, Chris Hemsworth, and a whole bunch of interesting actors in here as well. But those are the two main, I guess, stars in this film. It's directed by George Miller, the man who created the series, which is great. It's about two hours and 23 minutes. You know, and me, guys, it's going to be spoiler filled, but not to the point that I'm going to ruin every single detail. I'm not like that. I don't give you a play by play. I like to give you why I like it or not like it and what I remember from it. It's kind of like more of a reaction, if anything, okay? Anyways, I'll start off at the back, and I'll tell you guys honestly, this is a prequel, so I kind of went in thinking that, you know, this is how she becomes who she becomes, which it was, don't get me wrong, um, did I like it more than Charlize Theron's Fury Road with Tom Hardy? No. Um, was it bad? No. Was it great? No. It was good. It was something for me to pass. For me personally, I think it was 30 minutes too long. Had a lot of unnecessary shit in between with, you know, some of the chasing and all this shit. Like, how much are you going to chase a person, to tell you the truth? Anyways, it was pretty cool to see how she got her name, what happened to her, how she was taken away, how she met Chris Hemsworth's character, how Chris Hemsworth's character, uh, uh, Dementis, had something to do with the villain that we saw with Charlize Theron there. They were, he stole basically the town that produces gas, threatens them. He thought he was Jesus. Let's just say that. He did a pretty fucking good job. I was really expecting Thor. But some points of the film, you kind of thought you had funny Thor showing up instead of Chris Hemsworth. But he did a fucking good job. Uh, and Taylor your joy did good. Uh, she was believable in the role. You liked it. She went through a lot of shit. Uh, even shows you why she lost her hand, that she chops off her hand to escape Chris, Chris Hemsworth's character. Uh, still part of the Mad Max world. I wasn't a big fan of it, so that's why I was like, mm, do I really want to do, you know, watch this and thing? That's why I kind of pushed it off to the distance because no Charlize attached to it. I'm like, do I really want to watch another actress portray the same character in a series that I really didn't like? Even the old Mel Gibson ones, mm, you know, kind of thing. But shot beautifully, uh, a little too long for my taste, uh, very violent, very gory, uh, freaks of nature, very sad. If we're going to end up like that, then we're going to start cannibalize and go after each other and, I don't know, tinker with machinery and try and have kids and mutation and all this other shit. And, oh, wow. But the women were portrayed well, fighting good. She was excellent. The truck chase scene that they're, you know, stealing the fuel when she meets up with this other guy who I think she slowly falls in love with. Which kind of, I'm like, sure she did. Anyways, and the way they have to escape one part of the town there, Chris Hems was going after him, like sadistically uh, dragging him, uh, ripping people apart. I'm telling you, it fucking was gore. For a guy who believed he was, in a sense, Jesus, he did a lot of nasty stuff. Uh, very, a lot of cruelty, very dark, very grim. Uh, is it a film that I probably recommend you guys checking out? If you're a Mad Max fan, you probably can, or Anna Taylor Joy or Chris Hemsworth. Yeah. Uh, as a Mad Max person, probably, I don't know, not. I don't know if you're going to like it, it's, you know, or anything like that. Me, I think it was okay. It was a good film. It wasn't the best of this year. Or something that I would watch over and over. This is like a one and done for me personally. But I don't know. You guys tell me in the comment section. What do you guys think? Did you like this? Did you like it as good as Charlie's, uh, you know, Mad Max Fury Road? I don't know. Did it fall short? Did you like it better? Whatever. Either way, let me know in the comment section below. So there you go, guys. That is my short, simple, sweet movie review on Furiosa and Mad Max Saga. 
Hope you guys like it. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other reviews, guys, that I've done in the past. Two are going to be dropping tomorrow. So definitely check that out. Uh, it's going to be Silent House with Elizabeth Olsen. Something, a film from 2011, which I haven't seen. I'll go fucking done it. Not bad. Check out the review for that. And, of course, Immaculate starring Sydney Sweeney. Uh, something that's recent. Haven't seen it. Going to be posting that. So a couple of scary films before the podcast drops this Sunday where I'll make a big, major announcement concerning that. And don't forget, tune in to the TV Throne YouTube channel. We're going to be covering Agatha all along. Anything TV related, you got to go there, subscribe, do all that. Do the king a favor. Follow me there. Support the channel because all the TV content is moving over there. This is the movie throne for a reason because it means it's movies, right? So until next time, be the hell good. Stay off the king's throne. I'll see you where? Right here on YouTube land.